morning everyone and welcome to Journaling Junkie. Um, I must apologise if there's any shadows um, on this video. Uh, terrible lighting today as you can see it's a lot dark around here but I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. So anyway I'm here to show you this uh, new journal that I've created as a design team project for Junk with Steph. Um, the kit I've used is called Vintage Blooms. In my own way, I've grunged it up. Um, absolutely beautiful papers. Uh, well, beautiful kit, uh, as you'll see as we go through. Um, I've made the cover from Amazon packaging. It measures um, eight and a half by six. I'll just check that. Just under eight and a half by six inches. It's a single signature. It's absolutely stuffed with ephemera. And before I forget to say, um, <laughs> this is something that I forgot to put in as well. Um, so what I've decided to do, I've got lots of bits and pieces of the kit left over. Um, so I'm going to put that in as well. Um, so you'll be able to stick that in somewhere or just use it as a, a little folder to keep some ephemera in. Uh, but I will be including that as well. <clears throat> so it fastens with uh, this really grungy uh, sari silk. I've used a Tim Holtz uh, grommet there. This, I've made myself the Vintage Blooms. Um, you can actually take that out and put your own label in if you wanted to. So, as I said, this is very grungy. Um, lots of stitching details, stenciling, etc. Um, it's the Formidori style. And uh, so we'll get straight on in. Obviously, I'm going to have to move that to the side there, but uh, you know that uh, it folds down like that. This is a calico down here. At the moment, it actually looks like uh, coffee dyed paper, but it, it, it isn't. It's fabric. So, into this little lace pocket, we've just got a couple of journaling cards. Uh, most of the ephemera in here is uh, from the kit. Uh, there are one or two pieces that are my own, uh, but um, there's so much in the kit that you don't actually need to uh, add much to it. So, here we've got this. and I'll just take that little clip off. And this folds out. There's a little tuck spot there. Uh, ephemera in there. Some little clusters. Then this. Folds out again, so you've got lots of writing space, and here we've got a tuck spot, uh, so you can hide things away in there if you wanted to. That just clamps that together, and uh, so we'll carry on. I haven't got that right. Bear with me a second. I just don't want to crease the back page, that's all. So, a little tuck spot here. Tag from the kit. This is, uh, I'm not sure where that's from. Uh, this is um, some ephemera from uh, one of Steph's other kits. Uh, I think it's a, one of her ephemera kits. Beautiful images. These are a lot brighter um, in the actual, when you print it out. It's just that I've grunged it up. So here we've got a large tag. This is part of the kit as well. Little book page here. Little tuck spot. Little ticket. That, that's also a part of the kit. In fact, you can actually see the proper colour of the kit there. And... Uh, I've made, this was a, a little envelope from the kit, and I've just made it into a little tuck spot, as you can see. An envelope here. And it's just got a little, few 
pieces of ephemera in there. Uh, this is um, from a vintage book that I have. It, it's a poem all about snowdrops. I just thought it fit in with it being like a floral theme. And again, you can always cover this up with paper if you wanted to, or gesso, add a pocket, you know, just to cover it up if you didn't want the writing. So here we've got a large pocket and a piece of uh, coffee-dyed paper. There are clusters the way through uh, here. Little journaling card, tag. This is also part of the kit. The tuck spot there, and then this slips over to here, and there's a little tuck spot behind there as well. I hope you're, you're getting all this in on there. I had to zoom in quite close. Uh, some home dyed paper here. This is a, a little journaling card that's also a little tuck spot there. And then here, that's a large tuck spot uh, journaling space here. Again, this is uh, from one of um, Steph's ephemera kits. Oh, this pocket flips up like this. Edith Holden page. And again, some more writing space. Edith Holden. Another tuck spot, some more ephemera in there. And then this is a little tuck spot here as well. A journaling card that I've made. Little tuck spot here. Beautiful image here from a book. No, it's just one of my own journaling cards that uh, I've used using the papers from the kit. Um, some journaling paper there. Little pocket. And this is the centre of the signature, which I've left blank uh, for you to be able to decorate however you like. Another little card that I've made using the kit. Uh, this isn't from the kit, that image, but... Move on to this side, another book page again, if you wanted to. Uh, you could put gesso over to take the shine off or... Uh, Add a page or whatever, you know, writing space. Uh, just a little tag there. And another tag at the back there. Journaling card. Large journaling space there. The tag that I've used. Um, all the papers on the back are from the kit, apart from the uh, image here. Another one of Steph's uh, pieces of ephemera there. Journaling card, writing space, and then that's just to remind me that that's a little tuck spot there, and there's a little envelope here, and there's just a couple of bits of ephemera in there as well, you can get to them. Excuse the state of my uh, fingers, I've been fighting with alcohol inks again, and uh, the alcohol ink... Uh, one, Edith Holden, uh, this is just a, a spare little envelope that I've left in, 
uh, that you'll be able to pop in yourself and a little uh, doily that I've created there. This is a large uh, tag pocket. Again here we've got uh, a large top spot there. This is a tag that I've made uh, using one of the papers from the kit. Little pocket here with uh, a bit of lace detail on there. That's from the kit, although I've added that butterfly. So as you can see, there's, there's a lot of ephemera in here. And here we've got a large pocket. And get some journaling space there. It's a little uh, book I've made. Just using scraps. And uh, just fits in there like that. I'll pop that back on later. I love this. Uh, love this uh, page. Another tag, journaling card, an envelope there. I don't think there's no, there's nothing in there, and uh, large journaling uh, tag there. The pocket. This is a pocket that comes with the kit as well. This uh, little uh, tuck spot there. Love this image. And here, uh, I used one of uh, Steph's papers, added this image on, little cluster. It opens up so there's lots of journaling space. There's also a tuck spot behind there as well. And then this is obviously the centre of the, um, the journal. And here we've got a large journaling page there. An envelope there, journaling card, tag, and two little pieces of ephemera. Oops. So we've come to the end. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking through this. I've really enjoyed working with this kit, Steph. Thank you very much. Um, it will be for sale in my Etsy store, uh, as usual, as soon as um, I've uploaded it to YouTube. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, and of course to my old ones too. Um, any comments are very welcome, and I hope to see you all very soon. Thanks, bye!